Hi friends. Okay, so I know a ton of you can't come to the Zoom tomorrow because, you know, you have lives on Wednesday. So no worries. I just wanted to record a video um, so that you don't have to come to do that. And then you can rewatch this video to just get that information as well. So the first thing I just wanted to go back over the first part really quick for you. So first, the formal lab write-up, it's hard. Give yourself some grace, okay? Right, learning to write scientifically, it's not easy. So it is a skill that you do need to learn. All right, so our paper is gonna be APA format, which is a little bit different than you're familiar with um, from English. Um, everything is gonna be Times New Roman, size 12, double um, spaced. So that means the lines between each other, it's going to be, it's gonna have double space. So between here, that's the double space, not between each word. I don't know why that was confusing, but apparently it was. Okay, so then you can have your um, your subtitles as well and your title. Everything's in size 12 times New Roman. You don't get anything fancy. You don't get it italicized. It doesn't get a bigger at all. It doesn't get a different font. It doesn't get anything. So just size 12 times New Roman, double spaced, okay? The first section is the introduction. This is sort of the purpose or the reason, and it's sort of like a quick preview of everything that we did in the project. So um, you're gonna say sort of like what the objective or the purpose of the lab was, some background information, uh, summarize how the experiment was performed, uh, and then talk about the findings of the experiment. Really like summary stuff. This is a perfect spot to put your citation. And that citation should be something about um, either like supporting the reason that you knew that all of the cycles were going to work within the system or like how you know that cycles work in an ecosystem or some sort of background information. So some sort of an expert coming in to support why you knew that this experiment was going to work, you know, without putting anything in first person. So don't use I, we, me, us, my group, any of that kind of stuff. Don't put that. So everything should, uh, be in that third person narrative. The very last sentence of your introduction, that's where your hypothesis goes. Make your hypothesis fancy if it wasn't already fancy. So so if you said like, um, like for example, if you said, we will know that the ecosystem is working because the water level will drop. Well, first off, we don't want to use we, so we're going to get rid of that. So just say the, if the ecosystem cycles are working then the water level will decrease so just adjust that whether uh just make sure that it's you know the same idea of your original hypothesis don't change the hypothesis just make it sound better if i didn't already do that for you okay when you are putting your citation into this paragraph we want to do an in-text citation which is probably new for the majority of you the in-text citation, it's going to refer back to your work cited or your bibliography, whatever you call it. Those are synonyms. They're the same thing. It's just the different formatting styles. The in-text citation is going to tell me what I'm looking for in that work cited or the bibliography so that I know where to find the entire citation. So the in-text citation, every time you use a source, you're going to in-text cite it, but then you're also going to have that long-winded citation just like you have um, learned to do in English. So here's my example, this Morum, comma, 2005. So it's the author's last name is what this first part is, and then it's the year that it was published or the year that you pulled it. So if you're like, but I can't find a year that it was published, that's fine. So instead of being 2005, you would just put 2020 because that's the year that we're in, as if any of us could forget, and then the author's last name. If it doesn't have an author's last name, then the other option would be to put the title of the article, comma, year published or year pulled. So it could be something like, so there I just, an example there so it could be like um the eco system comma 2020 something like that okay so whatever the title is oh there we go so the ecosystem 2020 and then again that's going to refer back down to the long-winded one that you're going to have at the end that's going to have you know all the information the url all that kind of stuff okay that's probably the hard part just because it's it's new-ish, plus you have to find that outside source. For your materials, 
it's literally you already had um, these materials listed in the lab in your pre-lab stuff that I gave you. You'll, you can bullet point them or you can number them. So easy, easy. Do not put them in paragraph form, number, bullet. You can put it in um, like columns so it doesn't take up as much of your paper, okay? For the procedure, again, this was located in your um, packet of information so you can paraphrase that. This is a step-by-step -step explanation on how you uh, set up your actual ecosystem. So I should be able to take this information and I should be able to recreate that exact same ecosystem. So this is not numbered, it's not um, bulleted, it's a paragraph form. And again, um, it, no first person. So don't say we, I took, whatever. It's in that narrative. Don't, don't fluff it. I don't need, I don't need any explanation as to why it's set up that way. I don't need any defense of it. I don't need any frivolous um, side notes, commentary or whatever. Just get to the point. So how did you set it up? Just explain those steps. And again, it's already done for you for the most part. Like it explains a lot of this already for you in the, the lab that I gave you in the packet. And then we did this together in that pre-lab stuff. So there should be no reason why um, this is hard for the most part, okay? The only thing would be the first person. Include in this area, either or a sketch of or of the diet of the ecosystem or you can actually take a picture of your ecosystem and then post that in there either way though this section should include some sort of a diagram or picture of an ecosystem that you created okay all right so i'm just going to leave this video as that the first section and then i'm going to do a second video that's going to include the rest of this paper so